Hey guys, Jason here. Just woke up. Okay, so it's been a week since I last uploaded a vlog. Cause after the Halong Bay trip, I got right, my mood really went down because the experience was almost terrible. Wait, no, it was terrible. Because, well, it's not as nice or it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. The experience was like a really turn off because I thought Halong Bay was like something really beautiful, but it's just not as what I've expected. Maybe I, ha I got my expectancy too, too high, that's why I got disappointed, but yeah, it, it's not good. So I have a vlog, I should have vlog when I was there, but I just didn't have that motivation to edit it and upload it because after that trip like my, my mood really just went downhill uh, but yeah it's been a week now so i'm feeling better today i'm gonna edit it and uh, i'm gonna upload it so enjoy the vlog Good morning everyone, Jason here. This is the fourth day of this trip to the north. Today we're going to uh, the Halong Bay. We're on our way to the pier now. And uh, we're gonna book tickets to go out onto the bay. It was very hot in Yashang, so it's nice to see some rain here. But hopefully it doesn't rain during this day trip. It could rain at night, it's fine, but not during the day because or else we couldn't go anywhere at the We are at the pier. Look at that. There's so many people here. We are going to buy tickets and get on the boat or something, I guess. After waiting for two, three hours, we are finally being picked up by a guy to go to the boat. It's so hot outside. After two hours of waiting outside, now we go inside and we wait again. This is like a waiting game or something. It's currently 11.16 already and we got here around 8. Man, service here are slow. We've been waiting here since 8 in the morning and uh, I just got information that we won't be getting on the boat until 1.30 in the afternoon because the tour are still waiting for more people to sign up. So currently it's 12, exactly 12. So there's like an hour and 30 minutes left until we get on to the boat. Oh, what a waiting. Long wait, really long wait. in the afternoon and uh, we are finally on our way to the boat after five hours of waiting like oh my god there's so many people here and we had to wait and there were a lot of smoker this is torture I know I'm complaining now but it's it's just chaos here <laughs> On 
bowl. Thank God for that. Time to relax a bit, I guess. We are finally moving after so long. I was getting so sleepy. Oh God. All right, so it's currently 136, 37? Five hours and a half, and now we're moving. Let's see what it's gonna be like out there. So the famous Talong Bay, which uh, you usually see on uh, advertisement videos and brochures and all that, it's all here now. Yep, it's all here. We're on our way there. It's, it looks okay from here. But probably when we go between those, it's gonna look even better. crowded here the boats are just like pumping against each other trying to get a parking spot it's titanic but not titanic well we got a spot already Standing at this spot, and it's like the air from the cave is coming off from here, and it's so cool here. It's like there's air conditioner coming out. Ah, oh, the breeze is so nice here. that I discover Vietnam the more I think that it is such a gorgeous country I mean look at that what nature has blessed Vietnam with <laughs> So we're back on land Halong Bay trip like going out there to visit those rocks formation it is beautiful but I expected a lot more than this we wait five hours and then we won't went on a trip for like two hours and a half or something so it was a little bit of a letdown not as as much as I expected it to be but yeah, it was beautiful, so that's okay. Would I return to this place? Maybe during the low season, but not during the high season like this because there are way, way too many tourists, too many people, so it ruined the experience. It is currently 7.15 in the evening. We still haven't got any food. We're still going around looking for noodles to eat because the closest uh, vegetarian restaurant uh, from here it's it takes i don't know how far but it costs almost two hundred thousand dong so i guess it's it must be pretty far so we're just gonna look for noodles to eat instead of going to the restaurant to eat 